and welcome to The Collegium, our monthly magazine program in three parts. Cinema, State of Affairs, and our arts calendar. Hello and welcome to our State of Affairs portion of the program where we're very pleased to be joined by Joanna Radicek <laughs> and Julian Allett. Now these nice people are from uh, Jazz Radio. Julian is the managing director and Joanna is a broadcaster. So now we're going to find out what it is they're doing. So we start with you, Joanna. Tell me about uh, your work there at Jazz Radio. Ladies first. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I came to Berlin uh, almost exactly 10 years ago. Okay. And um, I studied political science and journalism in Poland. And um, the plan was just to take holidays after the, the, the graduation. Right. And it kind of turned to be a longer holiday than I expected right. uh, t 10 years now. <laughs> um, I kind of fell in love with the city, which and really did not expect it. It was a nice, um, it was a nice surprise to find a city like that, which is that near to Poznan, my hometown. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time when I came to Berlin, I, s I could not speak any German. I mean, um, I could speak English <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and, um, and then it t took me about two years and I kind of started speaking German, and I heard that commercial on the radio, uh, just radio it was, I was listening at home, uh, that they were looking for practicants. And um, I said, well, why not, let's try. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met Julian. The first meeting was everything else than I expected as well. I thought I'm going to see some very serious guy in a very big office <laughs> asking me a serious questions. And, and uh, th that's how the first contact with Jazz Jer Radio was. I came to the uh, Marriott Hotel where our station used to be. And I saw a guy sitting on a sofa surrounded with many beautiful ladies <laughs> and drinking uh, a non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> And, uh, and that's how it kind of started. Um, uh, there were many other people who, who as well came to, to start the practicum or the, the yes, the internship. The internship, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'm the only one who stayed and it's been eight years now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Julian, how, what is jazz radio for persons that are not familiar with it and how did you become involved with it? It's a commercial radio station that's okay. uh, on air 24 hours a day, seven days a week, playing jazz. Okay. It's very simple. We play jazz music. Um, we have 250,000 listeners in Berlin, Brandenburg, okay. in all age groups. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's unusual in Germany. There, there, there isn't another jazz radio station on the FM band anywhere in Germany. Um, I'd worked in, I'm a journalist by background, but I, I'd worked in uh, radio for some years in the UK. Mm -hmm. And then I'd, I'd actually gone to uh, work in the United States and I've been there for about six months, something outside of radio. And uh, I had a, a telephone call from a, an American radio broker whom I knew and he said, uh, do you want to go to Berlin? <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, why not? <laughs> okay. So, uh, and, and the story was that Jazz Radio had been set up by a, a group of, um, of, of jazz lovers uh, as a pilot project. And they wanted to have a, f a full seven year license and the, the media authority said to them, well, you need investment and you need professional management. So um, I came to see them, um, we saw eye to eye. I raised the finance mainly in London. No one in Germany would uh, invest a, a Fennig, as it then was, in, uh, in jazz radio. And uh, we applied for the seven-year license, won the license, and then I came full-time. Why jazz? And what is it about that music that, in your opinion, offers communication between people and that music and the musicians? I, uh, 
my view is very simple. Actually, okay. I work in radio, okay. not in jazz. Okay. And uh, the the jazz music is the particular format that we offer, mm -hmm. and the the starting point for any commercial station is your listeners. Mm -hmm. What do they want to hear? And um, I don't have a background in jazz, but uh, I listened to the music and I thought, well, I can I can program this and, and into a sort of coherent commercial radio format. And um, that's what we did. I also knew at the outset that mm. I probably wouldn't find anyone in, in Germany who could help me with that. Uh, yeah. And so I contacted a friend of mine called Dennis Clark, who was he's a director of a, a program you may know called Rick D's in the Morning sure. on KISS FM in Los Angeles. And mm. he helped me uh, put together the format of jazz radio. I, my view about jazz is it's beautiful music. It's, uh, it's almost the classical music of, of, of America, yes, certainly of, of black America. Uh, but, but it is popular music. And I, I, I don't see it any differently, um, say, in the classic hits that we used to play on the stations that I, I, I ran in, the, in England, or Top 40. It's popular music that people like and it speaks to them. And if that's what they want, that's what we give them on jazz radio. Mm -hmm. It's interesting you say that. Uh, certainly the music has come from certain ethnic groups predominantly, but actually if you think about it, the other music that's performed in, in say for instance in America comes from elsewhere, but that comes originally from the people that are there for across the board. Sure, sure. When you're going to broadcast, when you're going on air, how do you prepare for that? Well, it changed over the years, of course, oh, okay. <laughs> and I think the preparation is the very thing that uh, made me stay at Jazz Radio okay. because uh, I know I knew from the beginning that I was the only non-native speaker, not native German speaker, okay. when I was starting that. So the preparation I've, I had was, I thought, the only thing I could kind of secure my position there and I was and I was actually really preparing like I was not only doing a lot of research about the artists I've been also starting to think about the the whole concept like how much am I going to sh uh, to, to tell about my life about my experience in mm -hmm. Berlin and and then we spoke also a lot about it and we thought you know just uh, you knew in the time uh, mm -hmm. in the town like you've been here for two years why don't you talk about well, how you see the city, how it is, how you perceive the things, how, how, how what is interesting for you, mm -hmm. what have you seen new, and uh, and uh, finally we we realized that there are so many other foreigners who kind of were thinking, well, it's similar to my experience, not basically Polish, or not only Polish uh, mm -hmm. uh, listeners, but any other foreigners that mm -hmm. kind of felt, okay, that's a bit of my story as well. And uh, so this is the part of the preparation I've been just, you know, during the whole week before. I'm all, all, always picking up already the stories I'm going to tell. If something mm -hmm. funny happens, if there is something connected to Berlin or to my life, which I uh, think is worth talking about. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, uh, the artists, the information about the artists, what's currently going on in Berlin and um, the concerts and of course the music that is being decided at the station we we have the the playlist uh, we always adding uh, new stuff as well at the moment i'm presenting the the uh, show with the brazilian music uh, okay. which is called jazz rio from si uh, from 12 to uh, 6 saturday uh, the show is being um, sponsored by the brazilian embassy in berlin and on Sunday, we just started a new show as well, uh, the same time, 12 till 6, with the swing music. And that's a new show for me as well. So I'm preparing a bit more than I, I'm doing for Brazilian music, I guess, because I've been doing this show now for how many? Uh, 2007, I started, oh, or something mm, like that. Five or six years. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, of course, you're trying not to tell too many private details, mm -hmm. which might be just not interesting for anybody. But, uh, you know, we are all living in the city and we all see the city with our own eyes. Mm -hmm. and How do you manage to uh, 
make this work financially, both the, the radio station and what about the people that are the broadcasters? How do you manage that uh, feat of uh, magic? Well, the answer mm -hmm. is with a degree of difficulty. <laughs> the, uh, we're, we're not part of a big media group. Okay. And um, most of the big media groups in the city give, spend some time thinking how they can stop us surviving because they, they, they covet our license. Uh, so, for example, at the moment, Jazz Radio does not get any national advertising. And the reason is that the other big stations in Berlin have combined to stop us um, via their contacts to the, uh, one of the big national agencies. So we have to earn our money in the regional market from um, advertising and sponsorship and some events like concerts. Uh, we, we, we make enough to pay our bills. And, uh, it's interesting. What is jazz radio contributing, in your opinion, to the society in which you, you live? What are you bringing to the people, Julian? I, I take a very simple view of it. We're bringing jazz music, which mm -hmm. is music that they, li they like. Uh, I don't see it any, has any broader uh, sociological significance. But, but if you take the whole range of music that people like, jazz appeals to maybe 10 or 15% at least. It also influences a lot of other music. Oh, yeah. So it's important. And because of the way that radio was structured, it had sort of got edged out uh, until jazz radio in Berlin came along. And I, I think we've shown that it is a viable commercial radio format. And it's certainly valued by a lot of people. I see. Do you speak with musicians when, uh, when you're on air? Or when you talked about what you bring to the society, for instance, you d talked about the human experiences that you have mm -hmm. that can easily be translated to almost anyone else and, or any other group. So are you bringing also musicians who can tell their story that might be attractive to the, uh, to the audience? Or how do you handle this? Well, partly we do. Oh, okay. We don't do it as much on air which is just not the part of our format because okay. uh, we are basically uh, playing music. Okay. And uh, if there are a lot of other stations which are uh, where you can hear a lot of people talking to mm -hmm. each other, mm -hmm. we want to bring our listeners music and that's what we do. But from time to time as well, we are speaking to the artists and for all, we dedicate our website to do the interviews and. Okay. Uh, and uh, we've, I've had some very nice experiences with interviews with some of my um, musicians I really appreciate, like Azimuth or Marcos Valle from the Brazilian music, for example. I just see. so, yeah, that's a, that's a nice part of the job as well. <laughs> uh, I think we contribute to uh, the jazz scene in Berlin, which is very lively. We have thousands of uh, announce, announcements on air every year mm -hmm. about events and concerts, mm -hmm. about what the clubs are doing. Um, but Joanna's right, we prefer to play the music rather than talk about it. We don't regard ourselves as a, a jazz academy. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't feel the need to be didactic. We give people information about the music and the musicians, mm -hmm. but we, we don't see it as our role to educate people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, most of our listeners know jazz very well indeed, and they can probably educate us. Yeah. <laughs> There is this sentence I've been repeating on air that talking about music is like dancing about architecture. So let's oh, play see. music. Oh, see. <laughs> it that way. How do you find the music? How do you choose what you're going to play? How does that work out? Well, we've got a, a head of music, uh, okay. Matthias, who is uh, uh, the first person who takes the decision about it. The playlist has been uh, created for years and of course we always add the new staff and all of the uh, the presenters and uh, people involved are always welcome to propose the, um, the or have some suggestions. Um, how many tracks do we have in a playlist now? We just reduced the number, haven't we? It's about 1800 uh, at any one time, but the, yeah. the we, we have a format Okay. and there are certain kinds of jazz within that. Uh, the, the, the main output is mainstream jazz. Okay. We have some swing, we have some Latin, we have some... Electronic jazz. Electronic jazz okay. is a strong tradition in Berlin mm. of electronic music. Uh, but you can't play everything. I mean, if, for example, we played blues, mm -hmm. and if we played Dixieland, if we played free jazz, the audience would fragment. Some people would turn on for that, but they'd mm -hmm. turn off when it wasn't on anymore. Mm -hmm. And you, you cannot operate a commercial radio station on that basis. 
not everyone understands that because they've grown up with public radio and that's their model, you know, an hour of this, an hour of that. And the public radio can serve the audience by fulfilling a number of minority interests. You can't do that in a commercial station. Mm -hmm. You have to hold a coherent audience for as many hours of the day as possible in order to, to generate the interest from uh, advertisers. I see. Is there, uh, is there a session where that you presented Berlin jazz players, the music and the albums and things that they do? We prefer not to uh, oh. treat the Berlin musicians as being in a ghetto. Mm -hmm. um, so. The, well, the, they are uh, included in a playlist, even yeah, in the Brazilian course. show. I've got the, mm. some Brazilian uh, bands, and, e and not only bands, and artists as well, mm. uh, living even in, in my area. So mm. uh, it's, uh, they are included in all over, through the whole playlist. But we, we don't, as Julian said before, we don't do the separated uh, well, they shows. Well, they're included for... on merit. I mean, some of them are very good. Mm. And they're in because uh, their jazz is excellent, not mm -hmm. because they're in Berlin. Ah, okay. No, I just thought that was wondering how the, with the musicians and the public that's here, whether or not there's an interest in hearing the home folks and what they're doing and, and having them promoted and hearing about, uh, it's like your, your family and mm. you hear about well, what your example, family's doing. For example, in the summer we had uh, um, ten concerts ah, okay. in, the, in the summer garden at the Ellington Hotel okay. and about 40% of the artists were Berlin jazz artists. Yeah, and and all the Ber um, what was this last uh, mm, jazz in Brandenburg? The, the yes, we've been out to uh, have a concert in Strasbourg in Brandenburg. Again, was a, was a uh, again Berliner. with the Berlin band. Yeah. So you're promoting the hometown folks in yeah, addition to the other show. We love the city. Oh, <laughs> and it's great that you're playing so many different kinds of music so people can learn about other cultures and mm -hmm. how they present their music. What's, what's the future for jazz radio? Where do you go from here? Well, the, we just want to uh, fulfill our mission in Berlin, which is to provide great jazz music for the, right. the radio listeners in this city. Right. But of course, uh, radio is changing. More and more people are listening on the internet. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, we've got quite a few listeners in Hamburg, oh. and the, the only way they can get our signal is online. Oh. So I think that's an indication of how things could develop. With, with, with maybe picking up more listeners in other parts of, of Germany. Fantastic. And what about you? What do you see as the future for jazz radio when you're participating in it? Where are you taking it? Um, you mean me as a presenter or as just a presenter. as a... Well, um, that's a tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I, I, I'm just very satisfied at the moment the way where we are and I know it's people say you need to have the plan ahead of you where you are heading and uh, but at the moment when you're just f having a good time you just kind of <laughs> focus at the moment and I, I think we're good where we are of course there are many other things and everybody has thousand ideas but it has been a, a nice eight years for me with uh, not only um, a lot of nice music but a, a interesting people which kind of became part of my family as well and each of us are doing other things as well and uh, I've seen people starting at Jazz Ready and we all went in all a little bit different directions mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we all come back to the re to Jazz Ready and we, we kind of uh, we stay there so I hope this radio will stay with us as well. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for joining mm -hmm. us here Thank on the so Collegium. Much. Thank mm -hmm. you very much Julia. Thank you. So in addition to staying cool, remember you are participating in what else but the Collegium. <laughs>